Hey everybody, it's Kelly Williams with The Kelly Williams Show and Your Home TV, and I am, okay, oh my gosh, I'm so excited <laughs> because look who I've got right here. Hall of Famer, NFL Man of the Year, and I could literally go on and on and on with the awards this man has gotten, but it's the incredible Steve Largent. Hi, hey, Steve. Oh, thank you. Yes, How are you? you? Kelly. Good I'm to see very you. Well. Okay, so first of all, I want to know: Do you wear that jacket like to the grocery store? Because I no, would if I had it. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I wore it here because I was asked to wear it, uh, and I wear it to the Hall of Fame when we induct somebody else. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's in my closet. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> see, I'd be wearing it all the time. I love that. Okay, so you were, you were actually on the Houston Oilers. For a I little was bit. Yeah, for uh, a, a, a cup of coffee. I love that. Yeah. My husband was on the Oilers as a really? quarterback in '87. Okay. So I loved seeing that because I remember watching you. Um, you're you're incredibly talented, and um, and you've done so many things. But you were on the Seattle Seahawks 14 seasons. Yeah. Was that? Did did you ever expect to play seriously? Because you know the NFL. Yeah. Is is not usually a long term job. Well, for NFL so stands for not for long. <laughs> yeah, that's what we always said. Uh, and, you know, that, after my initial experience of being drafted by the Oilers, yeah. then going down to camp, playing for um, six weeks, the yeah. coaches saw me, and they and Bum Phillips uh, oh, was in his goodness. second year. Yeah. And he came and said, Steve, we're going to let you go right now because we've got more receivers here, yeah. uh, and we don't think you can be one of them. And so Bum, they, you they, missed they, out. Yeah, they, 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 they <laughs> traded me to Seattle. Wow. But, the secret was that my college quarterback coach and receiver coach was Jerry Rome. And Jerry had played in the NFL wow. for 10 years and, and uh, as a backup quarterback. But uh, he was coaching then in Seattle, and he was the quarterback receiver coach. Oh, my goodness. And, so, and he had been on the Seahawks to draft me. They wouldn't do it. And uh, when, I, when I went on the waiver wire, they picked me up. And That's so that awesome. was really the – the, yeah. the, the secret that's a and you stay there 14 years i mean yeah. that's a long time yeah um was this always a dream of yours to make it to the nfl no it wasn't uh it was a dream that developed over uh, my college years when yeah. i was ended up in my senior year in college uh wow. it looked like that there was a chance i could play in the nfl they, yeah. i didn't know uh but i thought well gosh you know i, I want to give it a shot but i'm going to yeah. get my degree you Oh, and I'm so proud of you for that. <laughs> I wish more people would think like yeah. that, honestly. Um, okay, so, you know, the Seattle Times has called you a superhero off the field. And I love that because I think that, you know, being an NFL um, celebrity star athlete is very exciting in itself. However, there is life after the NFL, and it really has to be a life of, of doing for others um, and really pursuing those other dreams yeah. that you have mm -hmm. and being happy. Um, but you actually just, you're, you're not only doing things, you're actually helping a lot of others. And one of those things is Gridiron Great. Right. Really um, an incredible organization. I want to ask you, what is it about and why was it so important for you to be a part of this? Well, you're right. And I always felt like that uh, being in the position I was in, uh, with the Seahawks and having the notoriety in the Northwest yeah. uh, that I was able to achieve, uh, that I, I needed to give back. Yeah. And and my whole life, I've, I've just felt like that's something that somebody that's risen to the level that I was able to do uh, in Seattle, uh, that, that I, that's what I needed to do. Yeah. Uh, but it was, uh, you, you know, a tremendous experience. I loved it. And uh, I, I love helping other people. And uh, that's what Mike Ditka's, uh, charity is all about it's helping that. helping other players yeah. uh that played in the 50s 60s 70s maybe even some in the 80s who didn't make a lot of money exactly uh, my, my in my career my first three years i made 28 32 and forty thousand dollars and exactly. that's not a lot of money mm -hmm. uh and and these guys uh they they need help and mm -hmm. uh and and mike's giving it to them i love that and i love that you're 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 such a, a big part of that you know, what people forget is that the um, things that happen with NFL players, especially former ones that don't have all that help, right. it not only affects them, but it affects their families. And yes. I thank you very much for helping others and, and doing so many amazing things. Thank you, Kelly. And I've got to let you go. I could stay here and talk to you all day. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching the Kelly Williams Show on Your Home TV. And this has been an honor to interview the amazing Steve Largent. <laughs> stay tuned for more live interviews right here from Las Vegas on Radio Row. We'll see you soon.